You can do it. Go on. You can do it. She can do it. everyone I hope you're all okay today and I hope you enjoyed seeing Chloe master her new way of getting up onto the sofa and down again she was nervous at first as you could see but now we can just let her get on with it and she's quite happy it's brilliant to see her regain her independence bless her I've got my gorgeous Florence with me today and this is Florence Eugenie and she is a partial silicone and she is the Alex sculpt by Claire Taylor and she is my first and only Claire Taylor doll and I'm loving her she is gorgeous <laughs> I'm going to change her today and I'm going to change her into a sleeper because it's really chilly here and I'm going to change her into this lovely white, well it's cream actually, it's a cream sleeper with a lovely uh, round collar and it's got two pockets with the most adorable bunnies poking their heads out of them and each pocket has got a big a cream bow on it and it's quilted and in each piece of quilting there's a diamante. It's really lovely. Now this was bought for me, gifted to me, by my dear friend Lucy, who you all know, and you know that I think the world of her. She had her Pfizer booster the other day and she has been really poorly, bless her. So, mwah, big kiss to you, Lucy. Get well soon. And I hope you enjoy seeing your little goddaughter, Florence, in this little outfit. I'm going to have a little chat here. Let me just take her pretty little dummy clip off. I'll pop that down there. And she's got her little teddy. She's sucking her thumb today, aren't you? You're sucking your thumb, baby. She is. And I wanted to thank you all for your lovely comments on my video yesterday. It's great to be back. You know how much I miss you all when I'm not here. And, uh, yeah... It's, it was great. I really enjoyed all your lovely comments and I think I've answered them all now. And I'm glad you liked the picture of me when I was a little girl because there's a story behind my pictures. And, well, picture, that picture, that picture was the only picture I had of me as a little girl. And every time we came home from school, because you know at school, you have your school photos taken. I'd take them home and my mum would always say, oh, they're too expensive, take them all back. And she never would buy them. So I never had any pictures of me as a little girl growing up. Come on, sweetheart, let's take this off you. There we go. Hope you're seeing her okay. She's a gorgeous little girl. Just take a little pin of her off. Um, and so I didn't have any of me growing up. And I didn't have any of me as a baby. And I couldn't believe that they'd never taken any pictures of me as a baby, you know. Well, 
I think I was about 60-ish. Um, and my elder sister Sheila died um, 20 years ago now. Uh, she died six months after my mother and um, she had um, oh, what's it called a brain tumor I couldn't think of the word uh, she had a brain tumor and she had it operated on several times let me turn her head so you can see her um, she had it operated on several times and um, in the end it got the better of her bless her she'd actually just come back from the hairdressers it was quite funny actually the way she died i mean dying isn't funny but it kind of went to her she was a lovely person my sister my eldest sister and you never heard her say a bad word about anybody you know uh but she had a bit of a rough time of it with her hubby and um she was she'd just come back from the hairdressers and uh, she was telling him a joke that she heard in the hairdressing salon i'll turn her over you can see all her curls look at her hair isn't it beautiful um and she told him the first line of the joke and she just sat there and died quite peacefully and he never heard <laughs> the last line of the joke <laughs> So he never found out what it was, but um, I expect she she enjoyed that. Bless her. <laughs> there you go, darling. Can I, Mummy, get this over your head? She's a big girl, aren't you? There we go. Oh, she said, Mum, that was a bit rough. So yeah, she he never heard the punchline of this joke. Are oh, you a bit too close to her? Let's move you back a little bit. See if you can see her about. Anyway, um, she was my godmother, and my brother-in-law was my godfather. And unbeknownst to me, they'd taken an awful lot of pictures of me when I was a child that I didn't know anything about at all. And a few years after she died, I just got this package from my brother-in-law saying, "I think you ought to have these." And when I opened them, I mean, honestly, I just burst into tears. It was so wonderful to see all these pictures of me as a baby and everything. And, you know, it was kind of very, I can't even explain it really. It was really weird. Come on, darling, let's lay this down. Come on, sweet baby. Oh, she's a big girl, aren't you? Come on, sweetie. I'm hoping this is going to fit her and not be too small because she's quite a big baby, this one, aren't you? Let's see if I can get her into this. Anyway, yeah, so there were all these pictures of me as a baby, as I was saying, and it was really emotional, you know? So what happened was... Oh, I've lost me. Where have I put those mittens? I put the mittens up the top here so that I wouldn't lose them and now I have. And I bet you anything, as soon as I put something on her, I'll find them. <laughs> it's like that, isn't it? Um, yeah, so what we did was um, Conrad uh, took them and uh, he made them into a book for me. And I'll show you some of the pictures when I've dressed her. But yeah, it was absolutely amazing to see these pictures of myself as a little one. You know, it was really very strange. Right, let's get your legs in, darling. Hopefully this is gonna fit her because it's a stunning sleeper. I'm not a great fan of sleepers, but if there's something a little bit different about them, like this one, this is absolutely beautiful, but then my friend Lucy has exquisite taste absolutely exquisite and I don't know how she finds all these things but she does right there we go sweetie let's get this arm in there we go where's those little fingers 
she's got the longest fingers this skull that i've ever seen on a on a baby on a on a real baby or a pretend one like her really really long fingers it's quite amazing there we go darling there we go can we get your arm in there let's have a little look there's those fingers mummy can't find them let's just put my hand down and i'll feed her hand through yeah really exquisite feet uh, exquisite taste my friend honestly she has and i don't know where she finds all these gorgeous things she's quite amazing there we go darling look at these fingers on her long fingers really long <laughs> beautiful little fingers well, she's hiding her face now <laughs> look at her lovely little fingers <laughs> Look how long they are, really long. Hope you're seeing her okay. I'll get this done up. There we go, darling. I wasn't sure if it would fit her, like I say, because she she is a big baby. She's more zero to three months size. Don't hide your face. Everybody wants to see you. Come a bit closer. There she is. Yeah, she's, you know, more a naught to three months size, so she is a bigger baby. So I wasn't sure. This fit Eugenie. So I was hoping it would fit her. I had to put all my other, all my reborns away today. Um, because we've got an architect coming first thing tomorrow morning to have a look at the attic space because we're, thinking about extending into the attic and doing a couple of bedrooms up there and it's beautiful up there it really is it's i've never seen an attic like it the trusses in the ceiling are like um barn ceilings you know rather than the usual triangle there we go darling It's her fine, doesn't it? I'm glad it does. Such a pretty outfit. There it is. Come on, sweetheart. There she is. Oh, I'll just make sure it's pulled up and everything. There we go. There we go. I know she's against a, a pale background as well. So, but look at that on her. Isn't that just adorable? Look at those little bunnies they're beautiful do you want your thumb again she wants her thumb oh dear must be having one of those days we all have those don't we yeah, that's gorgeous on her and i'll pop her pretty dummy clip back on so i don't lose it i'll pop it on one of these bows there we go and i'll give her hair a brush and then i'll show you some of these pictures She's got gorgeous, gorgeous blonde hair. She was done by my dear friend Alexandra Taylor Hughes, of course, who does most of my babies for me. And it's really curly, pretty hair. Beautiful blonde hair. I like to just let the top curl because it's it just looks so cute on her. And just over her ears. Look at that. <laughs> she little darling. <laughs> little chubster aren't you yes you are there you go have your thumb then there she is and i hope you've enjoyed seeing her today i'll let her hold a teddy and i'll show you this book now oh. need to get back a little bit to show you right here's the book and that's the picture I showed you yesterday and we've called it childhood discovered and it's got lots of photographs of me as a baby and a lot with my let's see if I can find one that I can show you You 
can see that. Let me see if I can get a bit closer so you can see. So that's me sitting on the ground with the doggy. See the nice little hat I've got on. And me in my pram eating a rusk. I don't know if you can see them. Me in my high chair. So yeah, seeing myself as a tiny baby was really quite a, an experience for me. I, I absolutely love this one. That's me with my gran. And that's me stood on the path. A really pretty little dress. Very serious little face. I always looked so serious when I was a little girl. And this is one of me on my bike with my mum. And a dog, of course. <laughs> and then I'll show you a picture of me with my lovely sister. Where is it? They're all a bit dark because, of course, they're old pictures. But there I am with my sister, my gorgeous sister. I like this one of me smiling so yeah after all those years of having no pictures of myself I suddenly had loads of pictures of me and from a tiny baby until um, you know I was grown up so that was just a totally amazing experience for me and uh, yeah, it took me a while to get over, I can tell you, bit of a shock. Anyway, that's the story of my pictures. And there's my gorgeous Florence Eugenie. And I hope you've enjoyed seeing her today. And thank you again for watching and keep coming back to my channel. I so appreciate you, you know I do. Every single one of you appreciate your comments and the fact that you keep coming back because there are so many channels out there that you could visit I'm well aware of that so mwah, a big kiss as a thank you you mean a lot to me thank you so much mwah. love you ladies and gentlemen mwah.